good day everybody. So today my name is Marissa and I'm going to talk about some winter driving tips and things to keep in mind for inclement weather. First things first, be prepared. Make sure you're dressed properly, dress in layers, most importantly footwear. You do not want to be slipping when you're walking to your bus in the morning. Remember the penguin walk. Turn your feet out, bend your knees for balance and just shuffle along towards your bus. Okay, so some things to keep in mind when we are checking our bus in the morning. One, making sure that you do have windshield wipers. Also, checking the inside to make sure you have plenty of wiper fluid. Um, tires, making sure your tires are properly inflated. So this is by having a look and just listening for anything that might be leaking. Okay, so something that is super important is snow and ice. You want to make sure that your windows, your mirrors, and all of your lights are cleared of any snow and ice. Uh, if you don't have a snow brush that extends, a broom is an excellent choice. So we're gonna go to the words the back. Also mention proper tire pressure. Make sure you are checking your tires to make sure they are properly inflated. You want to be listening or feeling for any potential leaks. And when you reach the back of the bus, making sure everything at the back is completely clear. If it is snow covered, use your brush, your snow broom, and clear off all of your lights. You can also clear off your mirrors if they're snow covered. Make sure that you are clearly visible to drivers behind you. Make sure you're checking that all of your heaters and defrosters are working. But keep in mind when you first start your bus, only turn on the defroster and maybe your heater on low because the bus is just going to blow cold air. It needs time to reach temperature before it starts blowing warm air. Once your bus is up to temperature, then you can start turning on the rest of your heaters. Another thing to keep in mind is your fuel. Keep your fuel as close to full as possible. Remember, we consider anything half a tank or less to be empty. Wipers, also super important. Make sure that they are working and that your windshield fluid is coming out of them during your pre-trip. Defects. If you do come across any defects during your pre-trip, make sure you are recording them and letting them know as soon as possible so you could have these repaired before you leave the yard. And remember, on inclement weather days, if you park away from the yard, please ensure you are prepared for the day so that if the shop needs to be contacted, it can be done with minimal delays to your route. So make sure you are watching for ice. Things like overpasses, bridges, or shaded areas, the condensation freezes quickly and can create these areas to become very slippery. Also, our following distance is six seconds. Make sure you are leaving yourself plenty of room, at least eight to 10 seconds between yourself and the vehicle in front of you. Make sure you are also adjusting for road conditions. Wet and slippery roads and snowy roads call for slower speeds. Also keep in mind corners. You want to take any curves or corners slow and steady so that you are not sliding around them. If you do have cars coming towards you, do not move over to the right. Maintain your lane, slow down if you have to, or come to a complete stop. You do not know where the ditches begin, and you could lose contact with the road. So remember when coming up to stops, you want to have a smooth and controlled stop. No hard or sudden braking. This could cause wheel lockup and send you into a potential dangerous skid. Also, when starting from a stop, you want to have smooth and slow controlled acceleration. If you are heavy on the accelerator, what could happen is your wheels could start spinning, which could cause your rear end to start sliding from side to side. Now, we also have a stop that's coming up here on our left hand side. And this happens to a lot of people where you have a stop on a hill. So if you do, once you have stopped, and you have done your student pickup or your student drop off, you now want to put your bus into second gear, especially if it's icy. 
what this does is it allows your tires to creep so that you can crawl up the hill. Again, keep in mind, no hard accelerations that will just cause your tires to spin. Slow and controlled will get you up the hill safely. All right, so remember folks, prepare yourself, prepare your bus, never move over on a snow-covered shoulder, and that slow and steady will always get you there safe.